Hello, I'm Seamus Dunhu of Eve University, and this is the 45th and final episode of How to Survive Eve Online. Now that you've finished the tutorial, the career funnel missions, where do you go from here? Well, most for most things you'll want to do, you'll probably want to leave the career funnel hub, so you're probably going to be leaving the station in any event, no matter where you decide to go. Which means you got to figure out what to do with all of this stuff, most of which is not going to fit in any of the ships that you can use. Unless you've already upgraded into a full account, in which case you might be able to use an Eideron class industrial. But even the Eideron with its 3,000 cubic meter cargo bay isn't going to be able to carry everything. A packaged, a ta a packaged frigate is going to take up 2,500 cubic meters. Your Catalyst Destroyer, even when packaged, is going to take up 5,000 cubic meters in an Eideron. If you are still on a trial account, then you can't use an Eideron because you're not allowed to inject the skill book. Those aren't allowed on trial accounts. So what you may want to do is just repackage all of your ships right, and repackage all of your items. And what you can do with your stuff is you can try to sell it. All right. Uh, you can right-click any of these things. Uh, let's see. You can right-click the small armor repairs, for example, view market details, and you can look at the sell and the buy prices. And you can decide for yourself whether you want to just sell to the buy orders or set up your own sell order. Keeping in mind that your skills limit you as to how many open market orders of your own you can have up at a time. If you want to sell directly to somebody else's buy order, you can right-click an item, sell this item. Uh, if you go with simple, you just go. You can just uh, go with uh, whatever price is available in your area. Hold on, that's a cap recharger. Let me look at a small armor repair. All right. Well, that's strange. I don't see an eleven thousand isk order here. What's going on? Anyway, so with simple, you, s you are selling to somebody else's buy order. With advanced, you can set up your own sell order and dictate a price and wait for somebody else to decide they want to buy from you. But you'll probably want to sell off a lot of your stuff. Uh, by the way, a lot of items have something called a meta level. Right? If you go to the list view, uh, and the meta level isn't there. If you go to the list view, you right click the headers and show meta level. That brings up the meta level column. And meta level is generally a measure of how fancy something is. Meta level zero or blank usually means that it's a plain old version of something. Meta level five is tech two, and there are meta levels higher than five, but you're unlikely to be coming across them early on in your Eve career. Uh, so you might want to carry the high meta level items with you. Check your skill books uh, one at a time. Make sure, see if you can inject them. If not, you can always show info, and uh, you can always show info and check the prerequisites and see whether or not you meet the prerequisites for it. The other skill books you're probably going to have to carry with you, or you can just leave them here in station and decide, hey, you'll come back here someday when you're ready to pick up the skill book. And for all you know, you may have wandered 20 jumps away since then. With all of these other, with all this other stuff, you can always reprocess it. Reprocessing is always an option. So, for example, if I wanted to reprocess a small energy transfer array, right-click, reprocess that into minerals. I could just reprocess it into minerals and then sell the subsequent minerals, or I can carry the more expensive minerals with me. The salvage materials you can also sell. Of these, the tripped power circuits... Hold on. I meant to show view market details. The tripped power circuits go, can go for a pretty good price. So can the burnt logic circuits. The really expensive pieces of, of Tech 1 salvage are uh, armor plates and alloy titanium bars. But whatever you found, you found. Uh... A lot of this can be sold on the market. 
you'll probably want to take a look at the market orders to see whether or not there's a huge disparity between what people are offering to buy it for and what people are offering to sell it for. You can also try to take a look at the price history graph. Uh, regardless of how you manage to dispose of your stuff, where do you go? Well, one thing you could do is go to the Arnon solar system. Uh, if you search for the character sister Alatura, that's a mission agent. She starts what's called the Sisters of Eve Epic Arc, and it's designed for new players. It's about 55 missions long, approximately. You can right-click the agent and set destination, and your autopilot will plot a course to the Arnon solar system. Uh, let me see if I can open the map without crashing the game. If you go to the World Map Control Panel, Autopilot tab, the Settings sub-tab, and make sure you prefer Safer. If you prefer Shorter, you might go through Low Security Space, and pl other players can shoot at and destroy you in Low Security Space. So make sure you have Prefer Safer on. Right. Uh, EVE Online is a very deep and complex game, and it is possible to go it alone, uh, even outside of high security, though that's considerably much more risky. Uh, but it is possible to go it alone. I do, however, advise joining a player corporation, uh, because if you have friends that you can trust and rely on, uh, the game is much more enjoyable. Uh, I'm biased in this regard. I, as, a new play, uh, as a new player, I would advise you to join EVE University. So, you can go to either an in-game browser or an out-of-game browser and go to the site uh, http colon slash slash www.eveuniversity.org And right here, you have a link for Join EVE University, and that will take you to an article describing our application process. So you can read this article uh, uh, to find out how to join EVE University. And once in EVE University, uh, you'll have access to our uh, voice comms. We use the, the voice over IP program Mumble uh, for voice communications. And you can always ask questions on the Mumble, or you can ask questions in the public EVE University channel. Uh, if you go to the chat window up here, you left-click this speech bubble icon, the open channel window, E-UNI, you click join. The first thing you should probably do is read the message of the day, right? But you can also ask questions here in the EVE University channel. Alright. Um... Let's see, what else? One of the Crowd Control Productions employees, CCP Wrangler, has been quoted as saying, Eve is not designed to look like a cold, dark, and harsh place. It's designed to be a cold, dark, and harsh place. Uh, if you leave high security space, other players can shoot at you and destroy you and pod kill you all without Concord intervention and take your stuff, whatever's on your wreck. Uh, even in high security space, other players can shoot at you and destroy you if they can do it fast enough before the Concord police show up. Uh, if you join a player, anybody who joins a player corporation, that's EVE Online's version of a guild, uh, if they get enough trust and are granted access to corporate assets, they can steal the corporate assets and leave the corporation. Players can use combat probes to find you in your mission space, enter your mission without your permission, and steal your mission objective item and hold it for ransom. Okay. Uh, anybody who decides they really want to go out of their way to harass you can use a what's called a locator agent, pay them a fee to find you, and then travel to your solar system and try to cause trouble for you. Uh, Players in the same player corporation can shoot at each other and destroy each other without Concord intervention. That's considered perfect, uh, a perfectly legal activity by Concord. Uh, scamming of in-game ISK and items is perfectly acceptable. CCP doesn't ban people for in-game scams. 
So yeah, Eve is a, is a cold, dark, and harsh place. Trust is a precious commodity. You have to be careful with who you trust. Other general tips, always make sure your medical clone is up to date. Check your character sheet periodically. If your total number of skill points is getting close to your what your clone grade capacity, you'll want to go to the medical facility and upgrade your clone. Remember, if you are pod killed, you are given a new clone grade alpha for free, which is not enough for anybody except the newest of players. Another general tip, don't fly what you cannot afford to lose. For example, my best ship right now is a Catalyst Destroyer. If this thing gets destroyed, I'm going to have to get a new Catalyst. The agents are not going to give me a new Catalyst for free. They only give you one for free, and that's it. You're out of the tutorials, you're on your own. So if I lose this ship, I'm going to have to go to the market and buy another ship from somebody who sells these things on the market because they manufacture them. Uh, you also have to buy replacement fittings, depending upon whether or not you were able to get back to your wreck to retrieve any of your stuff. Uh, I've mentioned session change timers earlier in this series. Uh, keep in mind that commanders in your fleet, if you decide to join a fleet, can rearrange you in the fleet hierarchy, and every time you're moved around in the hierarchy, that causes a new session change timer. So that can block you from docking or jumping for 30 seconds. Uh, let's, I can't think of anything else to mention right off the top of my head. There's a lot more to learn than what I've covered in this series. Really, I've, I've even barely touched the basics of this game. There is just so much more to learn. And again, I am biased on this matter, but you should join EVE University. But whatever you decide to do, I wish you luck, and fly safe.